Although we did some setting up whenever we were doing the initial install of Reason, there might be some things that you decide, hey, I need to change that up a little bit. So what you're going to want to do is go into the Preferences section. And you can find that section by coming up here to where it says Reason, clicking on it, and then going to where it says Preferences and click there. Next, you'll be greeted with the Preferences box, okay? And you can choose between the different types of preferences by clicking on this drop-down menu, and you'll see you can choose between the General, Audio, Keyboards and Control Services, Advanced Preferences, or Computer Keyboard Preferences. We're going to go ahead and take a look at General first, all right? Now, right here, I can decide how precise the mouse will move the knobs. Let me show you something. By default, it's going to be set up on Normal, okay? However, we can go ahead and change that up. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Whenever I click on the base right here and I change things, you'll see they pretty much go in increments of two. All right. Well, if I want to be a little more precise with that, all I have to do is come to right up here to the preferences window and I can change it to precise or very precise, depending on how precise I want to be. So now whenever I click on base and I change it, you'll see it'll go in increments of one. So it's really easy to get those details precise and where I want them to be. All right. Now, moving right along, you'll see that there's an automation cleanup. Sometimes whenever you're recording or you're drawing automation, you'll find that there may be too many or too few automation points. Well, this right here is where you can clean that up, okay? It's set by default to normal, but if you like, you can have more automation points or less automation points, okay? Now, the next option is reduce cable clutter setting. And whenever Reduce Cable Clutter is selected from the Options window right here, you'll be able to choose between Showing for Selected Devices Only, and all of the other cables will be transparent. You can hide all of the auto-routed cables that may be automatically routed by reason, or you can just hide all of the cables, which in most cases, that may work for you, and that's good. Choose whatever works best for you and your method. Now, whenever you flip the rack and begin routing cables and stuff like that, you'll notice that the cables will be animated. That's pretty cool. Reason does that, okay? But you have that option to go ahead and turn it off if you want. Next, you'll see the appearance. Here's where you can show the parameter value tip tool. Check it out. Whenever I put my mouse over a knob, you'll see a little tip will pop up, okay? Well, I can go ahead and cut that off. Let's see here. Now, whenever I go over a knob, nothing happens. See that there? but I'm going to keep it on. Now, the next option is the show automation indication. Let me scroll down a little bit and I'll show you what I mean. Right here, you see how the pitch bin and the mod wheel have been outlined with green right there. Well, if I decide to go ahead and cut it off, it'll disappear. But once again, I'm going to go ahead and keep that on. You do whatever works best for you. Now, the next option is the default song option. Okay. Now, by default, the built-in song or the demo song is set to come on whenever I click reason. However, you may choose to have an empty rack whenever you first bring Reason up, or you can go ahead and create your own custom template later on and choose to have that come up every time you turn Reason on, all right? So that's pretty cool. You also have the option to open the last song that you were working on each time you start up Reason. That's pretty nifty. Now, over the years that it's been around, Reason has been an extremely efficient, powerful type of program to use, but sometimes your computer may not be able to handle everything that Reason throws at it, all right? Now, this option may be of use for you. If you choose, you can go ahead and use as little as 70% of the CPU usage. That's right. You can put a limit on how much CPU Reason will use so as not to slow down the rest of your operation. Or you can choose to have no limit, all right? Now, the next option is load default sound in new devices, okay? Now, you're going to see that by turning this off, any new devices are going to be initialized, all right? And all their parameters will be set back to the default values, and no samples are going to be loaded in those sample-based devices either, okay? But what this option does is that it ensures whenever you crank up a new device or something like that, you're going to be able to generate some sound right away. <laughs> Now, the next option is the trigger notes while editing option, okay? And whenever you're changing or transposing notes or whatever, sometimes you want to be able to hear those notes because you have a certain sound in mind. This is whenever that option is going to be very helpful to have engaged, right? But if you're doing, say, a lot of drums or something like that, and you're going to be transposing them all at the same time, well, you know, it might be helpful to have this option deselected, all right? 
If you're one of the lucky ones to have a multi-core gigabit of water system type thing going on, this is going to be helpful for you. Now, by default, Reason will go ahead and select Use Multi-Core Audio Rendering if you have a multi-core. However, if you choose not to use it, that's cool. Just go ahead and cut it off. But by using it, you're going to find that Reason is going to be a whole lot more efficient. Now, this last option is the self-contained samples when loading from disk option, okay? And basically, what this means is whenever you've got it engaged, that any samples you pull in to a sampler from, say, a disk are going to automatically become contained with the rest of the song data. And then lastly, right down here at the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see there's a little question mark. This will bring up your help viewer, okay? So that covers the general preferences, but I want you to stick around because I'm going to go ahead and cover the rest of them in another video, all right? I appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.